everyone, I'm back with another body jewellery haul. I'm super excited about this haul and I haven't actually looked at anything yet. I want my reactions to be on this channel as, you know, genuine as they can be. I'm out of breath. Why? Maybe it's all this. Okay, so let's go. So this haul is from Crazy Factory. Now I've looked on the website for hours, trading through, finding what I wanted. Um, it's one of those things that you start looking and you feel like you just go further, further into it. And I spent a lot of time picking these products. I ordered six things from Crazy Factory and I'm just gonna sort of go through, tell you how much they cost and I'm actually gonna wear them. I'm gonna literally put them in during this video. First of all, delivery. So I think delivery is so important when you order something and I never realised how far it had to come. So I'm not going to show you the front of this on because of my dress, but it went through customs and it's actually come from Switzerland. So it did take, I know they said something like six to ten days and it actually came like the end part. So I think it was like 11 days it took. Um... But I didn't know if that was like working day. So I was like, do you know what? When it turns up, it turns up. So yeah, this took quite a while to get here, which is why I'm very excited to do this video now. So the one little touch that I like about Crazy Factory that I haven't got from any other um, jewellery provider is the little box it comes in. Now, obviously, some of the little piercings, like the traguses, the jewellery is so small and it gets lost in my jewellery box. So actually I like, it came in this little clear box that I will literally keep all of this jewellery in. Let's open up the box. Right, so like I said, I haven't worn these. I've barely looked at them. I literally just like cleaned them all and put them back in the bag they came in. Which most of it isn't that hygienic now thinking about it. But that way I can link up the code to what I ordered. This is a fake stretcher. I love these. I've had them in different styles before. So I've had like a like a um, horse unicorn thing from I think Topshop. But I actually really love like, you know, the standard looking stretcher. And I'm too much of a baby to stretch my ears. It looks like this. And it is so cool. This costs £1.79. £1.79, which is super cheap compared to what I spend in bloody Topshop on these. So let's put that in. So I have taken out my lobes for this video because I knew obviously that I ordered this. So let's... Oh my god, I've lost my hole. Okay, there we go. And then it's just a case of just screwing it on. Okay, so that, that's pretty simple. You literally put in the front bit and then you screw it at the back. That's why my tongue was out, I was concentrating. This is what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. I can just feel that I love it already. Oh. Like you don't, you can have the beauty of stretching your ears without stretching your ears. I just love the way these look. And it feels like good quality as well. Like sometimes you think, oh, that's going to be like super cheap to put in your ears. But like that feels good. So this is the next bit of I ordered. And it's like got an ear cuff. Oh my God, this is so difficult. So it's got the ear cuff bit at this end. And then we actually have this lovely bit of dangly jewellery. And we have the actual bit that goes in your piercing. I like the ear cuffs. But the one thing I always look for is that it actually does go into like an actual hole. Okay, I've got to take the stretcher out. To put this ear cuff in because I'm going to end up getting all like handsy and like forget what I'm doing. So let's put in the bottom bit first into my second lobes. Cat is just licking herself in the corner. So this is weird. I've never wore jewellery like this before so it's a bit of a new experience for me. Okay this is super fiddly. Like super fiddly. You have to have the patience of a saint for this. Right. So I can't believe I'm actually doing this. So, so this product here has defeated me. It is so, it's so beautiful but so fiddly and I'm getting frustrated. I've been trying to put it in for about four to five minutes. And I, I, I can't. Like my hands are gone clammy. And it's like so much pressure. So I'm going to come back to try and put this in. Because it's actually really peeing me off. I see what they're trying to achieve with like the ball. and the, But, but it's... It, I can't do it. Right, so 
from this website, Crazy Factory, I ordered, to be fair, a lot of Traegis jewellery. I said a lot. Three of the items out of the six was, you know, Traegis jewellery. So I guess that's 50%. So this little bit of jewellery here costs £3. So if you think about how much that little bit costs compared to the stretcher, it's like, oh, okay. But it is really cute. And I'm going to try and put this in and hopefully not bloody be defeated like the other one so this is one thing that i've realized with a lot of like jewelry like of this size a lot of them have the ball that goes in the back now all of my tragus jewelry has the balls at the front so i've never actually put a ball on in the back uh, so I'm, i think i'm going to struggle with that especially because i do have my snug pierced on this ear maybe it might be worth doing it on that ear now we're doing this here. Let's try it. Let's go for the more difficult here. Okay. This is it before I try and wrestle the ball onto the jewellery. But that is what it looks like. So I like that because it's nice and sparkly and big. But I'm now going to try and put the ball on. And I'm really worried about like how this will be. I feel like I'm going to struggle... I feel like this bit at the front you should screw on because it just is so fiddly especially if you have more piercings in the area like me it's just so much harder and i don't know if it's just me being a baby so if you can leave a comment down below to tell me if it is but i literally struggle to put these in and i know i know just my luck now that the other trade jewelry i've got is going to be like this i'm hoping not but i just i know it is the next bit of jewelry i got for my tragus was this one how nice it is and i like the fact that it'll like hang down it's just really cute and this one costs three pounds 74 i'm not gonna bother putting the balls on in this video now i've decided because i'll be here all freaking day oh i love it i should really hope i could put the back on so this is what this bit looks like so nice i like the fact it like dangles as well so that is really cute. Oh, I just pulled that out. I know, oh, that did not come out the right way. Right, and the final trace bit of jewelry I got was this little diamond. I know in my camera, you won't be able to see it, but I will obviously put some pictures on my Instagram, which you, I will link down below. But this cost £3.25. And I just wish this could focus more. Why won't it focus? But yeah, so I, I saw this and it literally jumped out on me i just really wish the diamond part was the ball and the ball not at the back because i know this is going to be like a bit of a love hate relationship for me but the ball of this one is a lot bigger so i actually prefer that i feel like i may not have so much arguments with it Ooh. so this is diamond you can see it here it's so beautiful and I really hope it focuses because it's so cute. Right, so they are five out of the six things that I ordered. The one obviously downside to the trade jewelry I ordered is that the ball has to go on at the back. So because obviously I have my rook, my daif, my snug down, like trying to get in my ears is sometimes a real big struggle. So to get into the back of my tragus, I just feel like it will be a nightmare. So I might have to obviously use those bars for my forward helixes instead so i've looked far and wide websites to find a reasonably priced industrial bar like this i'm literally so excited i've left the best to last this cost two pounds and three p and it is oh the aero industrial i'm literally so excited about this like this is on pinterest before i got my industrial you know, it was pinned, that's what I wanted in my ear. And now I thought, you know what? After my incident with my industrial, which you have, if you haven't seen, I'll link that down below. But I was like, I'm ready now to put this bar in. Okay, so I'm not sure if both ends come off, but the back of the arrow is the one that come off, and that's fine because I've I've now like conquered taking my industrial out. So I'll take out my one that I have. It's in at the top. It fits, it fits, it fits, it fits. 
Let's put the bottom bit of the arrow on. Oh my god, why is stuff so fiddly? Done. Okay. Are you ready for this beauty? Oh, I absolutely love it. And it doesn't feel that heavy either. Like my other bars feel so like thick and heavy. Really beautiful. I absolutely love this one. This is like the one. I love it. And it's so cheap. So, so cheap. So I am so chuffed with what I ordered from Crazy Factory. Um, I love it. I love this. I'm going to have to work on the Traegis bars or the Ford Helix bars. Not sure where they're going to go yet, but I will find a place to love them because I love the design. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle at some parts and I hope you like the bits that I bought. I'm going to put some pictures up on my Instagram so you can see them properly without me being like, is it in focus? But um, yeah, I hope you liked it. And obviously go check out Crazy Factory. They have some really awesome stuff. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye guys. Why won't you love me? Why won't you love me? I'll sort you the lights bright for you. <sighs> Okay, tail whip, I got ya.